Hey guys, it's Miss Jenny and welcome to week 20 of our lessons. This week we are going to continue to learn about stories from Jesus because if you remember, we're talking about how Jesus shows us how to live. Copy Jesus. That's right. This week we are going to be learning more about how Jesus shows us how to live. Copy Jesus. In the story of Jesus washing his disciples' feet, we are going to be learning about how if you're a true leader, a true leader serves and cares for others. He doesn't have to be the most important person in the room. Let's go ahead and begin with our Bible verse. Our Bible verse are words straight from the Bible. And this week's Bible verse is from Psalm. And it says, O oh Lord, you alone are my hope. Let's try that again. O oh Lord, you alone are my hope. We're going to be talking these several weeks about how our hope is in the Lord. And if we are going to want to lead others, if we're going to be a helper to other people, and if we want to be somebody important to God, the only way that we ever have hope for doing that is if we copy Jesus. Jesus was the best leader of them all. He's the best leader that there ever was. So if we ever want to be a leader, a helper, somebody that people follow, that they can trust, that they know, then we need to copy Jesus. And why? Because Jesus shows us how to live. Copy Jesus. Let's go ahead and get started on our reading from the Bible. We're going to be reading the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Here we go. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he filled a bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet, one by one. Then it was Peter's turn. He said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, as I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. Okay, so in today's story, Jesus was telling the disciples that if they wanted to truly lead others, if they wanted to be a good friend, a good follower, a good helper, a good Christian, then they needed to help serve each other. And one of the ways back a long time ago that people used to serve was by washing feet. Washing feet is not the same that it would be today. A lot of our feet are cleaner today. We have closed toe shoes or socks that help keep our feet cleaner. And so not a lot of us have feet that are quite as gross as they were back then. Back then, the disciples and a lot of other people in Jesus' time walked everywhere that they went. And where they lived, it was very dirty and very dusty. And they did not have closed toe shoes. They wore sandals or shoes where their feet were open to the air and the dirt and the water. And so their feet got really dirty and muddy and gross. They were disgusting. They were really nasty. And so whenever you came inside someone's house, you didn't want to track mud and dirt everywhere and you had to wash your feet. Now, because their feet were so gross, they didn't want to do it themselves. So they would pay somebody to help wash their feet. It was somebody's job, a server's job, somebody who would help other people. Jesus is telling the disciples that 
if you really want to love others and lead them, that you need to serve, that you need to not be so important that you can't do something like washing your own feet or washing someone else's feet. We need to be able to serve other people. It's a way to show them love. Jesus is a part of God, and even though he is the king of the entire world, he did not say he was too special to be able to wash other people's feet. He helped people, he served them, and he loved them. And Jesus is telling us that we need to copy Jesus and be exactly like him. We need to serve other people and care for them and love them. Now, today, washing other people's feet may not be a great act of service because most of our feet are pretty clean, but I bet you could think of ways that you could help serve other people, helping them even if it's something that you don't like doing and might even be not fun or even gross to do, but loving other people through what you're doing maybe cleaning up the dishes or cleaning up your mess. Sometimes our messes are not fun to clean up, just like washing a disciple's feet wouldn't be fun either. We need to try and help serve other people and not think that we're too important to do anything. Jesus was the most important person in the whole wide world, but he still helped others. He still served and loved others. And if Jesus shows us how to live, we need to copy Jesus. There is another story in the Bible. The story was about Jesus listening to some of his disciples talking, and they were having an argument. They were talking about who was the best and the greatest out of all of them. And Jesus said, actually, the person who is the best or the greatest is the person who doesn't think he is the best or the greatest. It's the person who is the least, the person who doesn't need to be important, but the person who loves others and helps them. Jesus kind of does everything backwards from the world. The world says that if you are the greatest and the best, that people should do stuff for you and everything should be about you. God says everything is opposite in his world when it comes to being important. God wants us not to be the most important person, but to make sure other people feel important. And that what we're supposed to do is love them and care for them. If you are feeling too important or too special, then you are doing the wrong thing. Jesus wants us to give all of our thank yous and all of our happiness and all of the things that we're doing to God. We couldn't do anything without God. So we need to make sure that if something special or important is happening in our life, or if we're doing something special or important, that we thank God for it and that we help others. We want everyone to feel loved and cared for. So what can you do this week to help serve others? You may not wash the feet of your family, maybe you could help out in other ways to make them feel special and important and loved. How can you be the greatest person by being the least? Okay, guys, well, we have some fun activities for you to do this week. Enjoy those and think of ways that you can bless your family by serving others. Because if Jesus shows us how to live, we need to copy Jesus. Well, have a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.